poor Jeffrey Sachs. It's like they're like eight traditional liberals left, and I guess they don't know the rules. Um, so I'm just wondering. Look, I, I don't know the answer, but I also know that no member of Congress knows the answer either. I verified that. So why is it that everybody is demanding you believe something that's just not very plausible? It's pretty amazing when you consider the track record of the people who are telling us that Russia did this. They are the same ones who told us that Russia installed Trump in the White House and blackmailed him with a P tape, uh, who told <laughs> us that Russia placed bounties on U.S. troops in Afghanistan, that Russia was injuring U.S. diplomats with supersonic microwave weapons, and that Russia <laughs> invented the contents of Hunter Biden's laptop. And we're supposed to take now their claims on faith. When, by the way, at the same time, for many years, those who've been opposing the pipeline, including many of those now accusing Russia of blowing it up, have been telling us the reason they're opposed to it is because it gives Russia leverage over Europe by controlling its right. energy supply. So just think of it logically. Why would Russia blow up its only form of leverage? It does not make any sense. Now, the reason why someone else would want to blow this up from the West, and as you noted, John Kirby, when he was asked by Brett Baer, did not answer the question of whether it could have been a U.S. proxy. He only said that the U.S. was not involved, which to me is very revealing. And the reason